You can see, oh, did you see that fish jump out of the water? <laughs> Hey YouTube family, Robert here with Coastal GX. Today I'm gonna to be installing these Oxbeam 9 inch high intensity off-road fog lights. They are enormous and powerful, 270 watts. I'm gonna get them installed, put them to the test and tell you a little bit more about them. By the way, they also send me these amber covers right here. They're huge, let's get to work. Okay friends, so this is how the package is gonna come in. Uh, Obviously, you know, there was a little damage there, but I don't think it hap anything happened. The packaging is pretty good, so nothing happened to the product over here. This is the way it comes. Now, <laughs> this is crazy. This is insane, man. These things are huge. Look at that. Huge. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start unpacking these things. I'm just going to start getting rid of this. What does it come with? It comes with a full harness with your Deutsch connectors. All right, we're gonna set this off aside. It also comes with all the hardware that you need. Okay, including these hard rubber, flexible, but very high quality rubber uh, bases to prevent, or at least try to avoid or prevent uh, some of that vibration. Obviously, it comes with your lamps. Nicely packaged. And they also have the Deutsch connectors in the back, as you can see. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Plenty of stickers here from Oxbeam. And of course, mounting instructions well i already removed the tabs from this front part of the gx right here i'm gonna make myself some space so i can have access to this entire area down here but i want to show you something uh so these lights right here these are 150 watt lights nothing wrong with them they're eight inch 150 watts they've served their purpose they work fine but more power, more better, right? We want more power. We want it to improve our rides. And that's why I'm going to, going to go ahead. There's nothing wrong with these. They're going to go uh, to a very uh, good friend of mine. And uh, I'm sure he's going to enjoy them just fine. Going to be good enough for his ride. Good enough for my ride. But can't pass up on 270 watts, right? And uh, so anyway, let me show you these, the new lights. They come with these Deutsch connector plugs in the back, okay? And Oxbeam, I already had some Oxbeam 150 watts here uh, in the past. So all I'm going to do, it's already wired, okay? And it's wired to my Oxbeam switch panel, as you can see right there. So what I need to do are two things. I'm going to have to disconnect these. Very simple. I, you know, I don't have to run anything because it's already there, okay? If you're wondering how to run wires or you, you're curious about that, I have plenty of videos that will show you little, you know, uh, I guess little bits of information. If you want to learn how to solder or run cables or whatever, and, and maybe maybe you'll learn something from there. But I'm not going to do that for this. It makes no sense. The cables are already wired to the switch panel. What I do need to check, however, is, you know, the fuse, see if that fuse matches. I might have to trade out that fuse and uh, and of course you know make some adjustment minor adjustments so that I can make sure that those Deutsch connectors will reach all the way to my lights when I set them up okay here behind behind, behind the grill and uh, I'm just going to go and disconnect the cables there's one and there's two right here. Now this is gonna free up those lights in the front, okay? Now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna snap 
snip this out right here so that I can free up my my cable here all right just give me some freedom and these two cables I'm gonna release some slack from here release some slack from the cable assembly the wire assembly right there and uh, then I'm gonna you know readjust and uh, wrap them up again once I get enough space just want to test them out okay I'll go ahead and secure these cables right here I brought out the second cable I'm going to also connect it to the back here now that my lights are crudely connected I'm gonna go back to that wiring harness that Oxbeam provided and as you can see you would have everything you needed but I'm too lazy I don't want to run all these cables again all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check up oh, and what do you go 25 amps all right guess what I already have a 25 for those 150 watt lights there so I'm just gonna keep it the way it is I don't need to make any other changes and uh, I'm gonna fire up the truck and I'm gonna double check well before I turn on the truck I wanted to show you here back in the ox beam switch panel assembly this this thing is so special man like you really if you don't have one of these and you're planning on making a bunch of installations like electronics and stuff to your vehicle I highly recommend that you go with this okay so we have our 25 right here on channel 1 and of course those off-road lights the ox beam uh, 9 inch lights are gonna go on this channel the wires are already connected here we have our 25 so just cover it back up and now we can go and test it so it just turned on the truck and uh, we have the ox beam switch panel in here we got the front right here remember channel one let's go see if it works yes they do clearly okay so we know they work you know they work so now I'm gonna to get to work on removing the 8 inch and putting these huge huge monsters on okay it's gonna be very difficult to get to the bolt over here okay it's gonna be hard to get to that bolt so on the side it's got these hex screws I'm removing the small one all right so that I can go ahead and be able to tilt tilt the lamp as you see I can already remove one from this side I'm gonna remove this one and uh, that way I'll have better access to the bolt down here to the base bolt and then I'll go ahead and and correct them again so what you're gonna need um, this is a 19, 19 millimeter bolt, so I'm just gonna use a wrench down there. And uh, Oxbeam will provide you with obviously the nut, the washer, and the lock nut. So I'm gonna get to work on that. This little bolt, I'm trying to put it back in, at least for me, and it's right on the edge, but it's gonna be okay. Okay, well there they are. At least they're they're mounted now I just have to connect the Deutsch plugs over here to the back all right there it is What do you think? Bright enough? Well, this is daylight. I mean, it's a little different. You know, I'm gonna have to take them to the island where it really counts. Well, but first, 
before we do that, let's go ahead and put on those uh, amber covers, see how they look. Okay, so let's go ahead and test them out at South Padre Island. That's where it really counts. And uh, let's see how it performs. I'll tell you a little bit more about them. Now just imagine at night going through this little surprise right here because your lights weren't bright enough. Not good. It's going to wreak havoc. Suspension on your vehicle. Terrible. Man, look at that whole trunk right there. Once again, you're gonna think that's you might think that's just sand and surprise. Man, that's just solid cement. The color of sand. Yeah, you better better have some lights. Yes, you better have some dependable and powerful auxiliary lighting out here. We saw a raft, a pallet, and even the base of an old buoy. So right now, I have, I have the lights only with the uh, amber. Let me see if I can tell here. I have the amber covers on and it's so dark out here. There's no ambient light or anything like that. Let me go ahead and turn off the other lights with my aux beam switch panel. So that's just gonna be the front lights right there okay that's going to be the regular uh, light from my vehicle those are the high beams and those are the off-road lights and they reach all the way into the ocean you can see the waves breaking over there Okay guys, I removed the amber covers. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna turn off the lights completely. Wow. Yeah, 270 watts. Pretty crazy. You can see, oh, did you see that fish jump out of the water? <laughs> wow. Guys, I just saw a skipjack jump clear out of the water with these lights that's incredible oh that's hilarious i can't believe it so once again here they are without without the lights with the off-road lights that's just 100 percent off-road lights right there now let's give it a try with the these are the regular lights right here these are, I'm sorry, these are the regular lights right here. And uh, I'm gonna switch it up. Bam. Okay, there you go. This is so cool. Incredible. I got the whole carnival turned on. I say carnival because this thing looks like a damn carnival. <laughs> uh, wow, look at that. That beam is crazy. Of course, I might have to do some adjusting. Really yeah, and this is without the covers. Yeah, oh, wow. Yeah. This is shooting way, way down. And look off to the sides. This is crazy. I don't want to, I don't want to uh, mess with those poor people. No. Oh, over here to the side nuts but look you can see that glass bottle right there you can see that mm. log but your road hazard stuff yep. look at the up on the dunes yeah. wow incredible this is all those off-road lights let me go ahead and kill them so you can see the difference right there 
but those chase lights in amber off to the side incredible yeah. incredible you can see all around you so neat and all controlled you know right here through this little aux beam switch panel and how convenient is that I love it okay I'm gonna slap on those amber uh, covers to see how it looks now okay let's try it out with the amber covers just a different damn man I can see way way down there even with this Wow love it look at that guys this is where the amber covers I, I think I think without the covers it's still it's still brighter what do you think or is it the same there you go guys my wife is a eye doctor so trust her she knows what she's talking about she votes for the amber covers so if you're gonna pick these out make sure you get them look at that look at that beam wow so this is with my regular high beams guys this is with my regular high beams right now this is what you can expect um, so not too bad but this is a lot better okay just so much better and uh well robert what if you want to see off to the side oh you mean this side you mean the shore side yeah i got you covered i got you covered love it okay all right well that's gonna do it for the video guys uh what can I tell you? You know, this video should uh, speak for itself. If you're looking for a great, great pair of off-road lights, but you don't want to break the bank, this may be the right choice for you. Remember, I got my promo code, my links down in the video description. You know, save yourself some money and uh all right we'll talk to you guys later get up get out do something